Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the big show. Today, we are watching a movie voted on by the patrons and hand-selected by a very cool, dope, and fresh patron, Men This Moment. He takes this moment to the minimum, maximumly. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Alrighty, let's go do this because this is Red Eye Reviews. We start with our intro credits. Gently is a rabbit. It's like Zootopia all over again. We see our man show up in France. He says the trip is for pleasure and he means it because he starts the pleasure bus right away, goes to the first alley he can see with like these Buffy the Vampire Slayer prostitutes hanging around. You can't get much more pleasurable than that. He goes to his secret Chinese restaurant hiding place. Uh, he pulls his gun out like a magician, just straight from liquid smoke. Hey, hey, who knows? Maybe the rabbits from the opening credits are in there, too. You can put your things over there. How long are you planning on staying? Not very long. He heads to his contact place at a hotel. He runs into this man at the bar who is very forward. Men's toilet now and at first you know he's like well i'm not that interested i'm more into vampire prostitutes sir but then he realizes maybe more is going on he goes to the bathroom it is full of attractive men and they are very interested in our man's legs and stuff it's all very erotic it's all very european but they take him to their boss richard inspector richard Inspector Richard. And uh, we we fight every damn bone in our body not to call him Dick Inspector. And it is so difficult. But we are working with them to protect some Chinese diplomat. We see our man. However, these two ladies of the night show up and make a real show of things. Come on, baby, let's have some fun. <laughs> you need some guys. Everybody out. One of us is uh, really embarrassing themselves right now. But our guy's like, hey, uh, this is free, right? And the lady's like, no, you die now, you cheap bastard. <laughs> That's not really what happened, but, you know, Jet Li runs in. He is so good at acupuncture. He senses the stress in the room. He needles our people up. Lift me up. <laughs> In walks his employer, we see the man trying to frame our guy for Moida, and Jet Li bails out. <laughs> However, he does run back upstairs real quick. He takes the tape of evidence showing that the French dude killed those guys. <laughs> At one point, he hides in a laundry chute and they throw a frickin' grenade into it. Oh, shit! This is my sweet ah! Alright, you know what Jet Li did wrong there? He had all that time to kill in the laundry chute. He could have been playing one of the most epic mobile games on the market today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time we change things up. He's dealing drugs. No, it's not drugs. This isn't Miami Vice. No, no, it's not drugs. Why do you guys always think it's drugs? Guys, Red Eye Reviews has officially caught the eye of Raid Shadow Legends. This is not a drill. The godfathers of YouTube advertising have contacted me via my hamburger phone and given me a direct order. I started playing the game, and I can tell you it's, uh, it's, it's actually kind of fun. Excuse me? Baking powder? I said it's actually fun, okay? There, I said it. I'm having a good time. You want to know why I enjoy the game? Number one, you can skip dialogue and speed the gameplay up. Hey, if you're someone who dives into the lore and story of a game, this game has a bunch for you. But 
if you're like me and you just want to blindly button mash on some bad guys while lying in bed, this game has got your back too. Number two, if you want to play, but you don't always have time to play, the game can play for you. Like, seriously, clicking this little auto button and a plethora of other actions, you could be winning at the game and winning at life. Oh, I want to make fun of you for saying that, but I kind of know what you mean. It's like I'm thriving. You're thriving. Number three, the beefiest dudes on your team never get targeted first. And that's a positive for me, because you know, I uh, I love to imagine this green-skinned muscle jockey pumping his orc iron all day, waiting for the big fight. And then when it happens, everybody ignores him. And that's funny to me. Lastly, Raid Call of the Arbiter is out now. It is a very well-made 10-part series on YouTube, but to celebrate, they are adding new characters to the game and giving you this face-painted beefcake named Artak for free. If you log in for seven days in a row, this hunk of burning Shrek love is all yours. So use my link in the description or scan this QR code. Get some awesome bonuses right now. Plus, I don't know, it'll maybe make Raid think that I'm a competent person at making these promotional ads, and maybe that'll help old Red Ice channel out too. All right, enough said, you've been super patient. Let's get back to it. But yeah, he kicks ass all over the hotel. Even that guy who wanted to bang him in the bathroom gets in on the action. So now, his mission is kind of foobar. He heads to his plan B spot to retrieve his gear. These guys see the guns, right? They immediately tense up, all stressed out. Jet Li knows how to deal with stress, and he needles them up real fast. So, Jet's people meet up with the French guy. He throws some major accusations. We and Sui Chen come over. For some reason, we still can't understand. He went completely insane. And they are like... He's been decorated for bravery in the line of duty six times. Inspector Wu Young was top in all his classes at the academy. He is our best. Yeah, uh, this makes no sense. And his response? You know, sometimes the best are also the worst. It's really sad. Well, uh, sometimes good people can be bad people, no? Back at the hideout we go. Are you hungry? No. Yeah, just like a real Chinese parent, it doesn't matter if you're hungry or not, if you're under my roof, you are gonna eat. We learned that lady number two from the hotel actually works for our French bastard. He is blackmailing her by holding her daughter hostage and keeping her drugged up. Yeah, uh, some people are really easy to hate, and uh, this guy is one of them. I love Mahjong. You play Mahjong? A little. And you want us to play MJ with you? Yeah, this parrot is the real deal. Like, next you're gonna tell me you made me some fresh coconut buns for breakfast. I ya. Uh. But the girl runs into our guy. They don't recognize each other. She barges in. She pees. However, because she's a junkie, she also falls asleep. And our man is sensitive, and he wakes her up gently. Then... She eats all of his food. Are you going to finish this? Oh, I love those chips. Do you mind? I love the pink ones. Honestly, she isn't making a great case for us to like her. So, we connect with our own guys. We go for a meetup. Tell me everything. But during said meetup with his guy, he gets shot. Like, holy hell. Jet Li looks around. He's like, well... You know, I can fight with tables and shit, but I'd be much more comfortable in, like, a, a janitor's closet or maybe a French kitchen. So we desperately look around for some badass props to use in a fight. And thank God this boat trip is all-inclusive. Hey! I, I thought the French weren't supposed to be violent people. What is this garbage? Come on, let's just eat some baguettes and, and talk through this thing. Maybe a little espresso? I, I don't know. Can you tell that I don't know a lot about French people? 
I'm not sure who this dude is exactly, uh, but he seems like all of France is out to frame our man for that murder. Hey, I don't even know who France's president was back in the 90s, so this could be him. It could be him. I really wouldn't know. But thanks to Reliant Mass Transit, we get away. Our French dude meets back up with the Chinese guy, and he's like, uh, Jet, uh, Jet Li totally killed that other guy. That's crazy, right? It wasn't us. Uh, you could take my word, I'm French. Back at the hideout, we run into the girl again. You know, the lady we're supposed to like and don't. She stitches our guy up, and she's still not very likable, but uh, she's also very nosy and judgy. Uh, it's great at making us feel uncomfortable. Doesn't like me standing outside, huh? Your uncle. If I had any other place to stand, I would. It's just that all of the good spots get taken. You ever been with a hooker? No. Are you gay? Hey, look. It's my daughter. Uh-huh. Okay. And thanks again for stopping by. Her pimp shows up and we absolutely manhandle that dude. <laughs> Sadly, during the mayhem, our lovable old man host who only wanted to kick our ass at Mahjong gets killed. And now you have fucked up, sir, because Jet Li has chopsticks. And not to brag, but he's really good at using those things. What are we gonna do now? Oh yeah, that's you. Don't eat anything, don't eat anybody. Richard has my daughter, but you don't think about that, do you? No. Well, we actually were listening, miss, and you definitely never told him about your daughter. So the girl goes to the baddie and says something. I, I don't know. She did, but I got too distracted by this man's pet turtle. It, it's, it's adorable. He keeps it in a drawer for some reason. So she gives him false information and then steals the man's turtle and leaves. So now they go. They try to rescue the junkie's daughter, and it uh, turns out she's not like being held captive or anything like that. She's just at an orphanage. Uh, so, you know, Mama probably could have gotten her whenever, but all right. Also, the security of said orphanage is atrocious. Like, the front door wasn't even locked. Oh. <laughs> So, they have to fight their way out of the building. Turns out the real daughter is with the French cop guy. Somebody help me! My daughter. Calm down. She tells us how it really is, but Jet's like, Hey, it's all good. You know, they will take care of you and your daughter. And then she's like, Who is this they you're talking about? And our man goes, I think you should just leave. Acupuncture needle, no more questions, go to sleep. But now, Jet means business. So, he does that Jason Bourne thing where he calls him and then he's like, Hey, look out the window. Now, I know where you are. I'm coming up. Boom! You messed up. <laughs> but while fighting inside, he runs into a roaming pack of stick-wielding karate dudes. And yeah, they are all wearing black belts, but my guess is there was probably a discount if you bought those things in bulk, so everyone got one, because they all get their asses kicked pretty easily. <laughs> Meanwhile, bad guy is handing guns to everybody, like the male kid got a gun, the interns got a gun, they all got guns. <laughs> Jet Li runs into Eminem and supersized Eminem. And he's like, okay, we will fight, but, you know, for God's sake, don't rap at me. Just, just take your bleached hair and get your ass kicked. <laughs> Fun fact, the fight between Jet Li and Cyril Raffaelli was so fast that they could hardly tell what was happening on the camera. So... They actually had to slow the footage down just so you could see these two cheetahs actually moving. Also, also, this backflip 
kick thingy is super dope. And Cyril Raffaelli actually could do this without wires. But again, because he can move so fast, they did use wires to let him do it a bit slower, so it actually made sense for camera. So, we see the main baddie, we fly into the room, he uses his mouth to sexy kiss the back of his neck with a needle? What did you do to me? I put a needle in your neck to kiss off the dragon. <laughs> and he is dead now. Yeah, folks, if you thought chiropractors were dangerous, acupuncturists can kill you just like that. You know, but not really, though. They're pretty great. They're kind of like witches. It's nuts. We reunite the daughter with her mom. We just assume that that's going to work out. Also, I'm pretty sure he killed like every cop in the city. So with Paris, without a police force, the streets will soon descend into madness. But that is it. So let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. First time to France? Yes. Yep. It is my first time in France. However, I do a pretty wicked French accent, so it's like I'm a loco. <laughs> I love China. I love the food. Chinese food is the best. Not like us barbarians. I mean, there we are, sticking our forks into the food. Yeah, the way they cut things in little pieces so that you don't have to use all that heavy silverware. Ah, he's that asshole that brought like a thousand dollar airsoft gun to a friendly hangout. Bro, settle down. I bought my gun at Walmart. Okay, let's calm down. Oh, wait, where? To China? I mean, I like the chips, but no, thank you. What's a girl gotta do to get fed around here? She convinces the man to leave the room by being all prostitute and he's like, <laughs> well... I do like prostitutes, that's why I joined the business. Oh, oh god, her daughter is really ugly. And mean. <laughs> Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Uh, because uh, this one's dead. That is it. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, click the button that says subscribe. If you do, YouTube will send you a gift in three to six to 38 months. Like the video itself. Leave some comments. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why I said it that way. A huge shout out to the patrons who picked today's movie for you guys. And Jet Li is dope. Also, a personal shout out to Men This Moment. Thank you so much for picking a Jet Li movie. If you want to do what they did, you can head to the Patreon page, sign up for that power. Also, as of a couple weeks ago, there is a last episode of Law Man that I did that got pulled from YouTube, sadly, but it is on Patreon. So if you wanted to watch it, you can head there just for a few bucks, be able to see that too. Link down below, Discord down below, merch start. Lastly, do go and check out Raid Shadow Legends. I know you see it all over YouTube, but there is actually a good reason that you do. It's because it's kind of freaking fun, okay? Link down in the description. I will see you next time, and until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Uh, Jet, uh, Jet Lee totally killed that other guy. That's crazy, right? It wasn't us. Uh, you could take my word, I'm French. <laughs>